I want Godzilla breath. Happy first day of spring. Eid Shamal Mubarak. Prince of the Bear here, and we're back at the boardwalk because it's Persian New Year. And for celebrating the first of spring, we decided to come back to one of our, well, favorite-ish restaurants, Trattoria. Trattoria. So, remember, Alfarno. she's vegan. I'm not. Let's go find an Alfarno. Be sure to enjoy the spring season. You heard the girl. This is the Principesha wine. This is part of the Benfi family, which also makes our beloved Rosary Gale. All of their wines are vegan, so cheers. Absolutely loving this glass and loving sitting in a room we haven't sat in before in all of our reviews on this channel, which I believe is more than six. I'm gonna have to count. Um, it's very light, floral, airy. It'll pair well with my meal. I think I will give it a three and a half out of five wines. It's very delicious. And that's what with dinner. Uh, Banfi, we drink a lot of their wines. Princess loves the white. I'm more of a red, but I will occasionally indulge in the uh, all too pale grape. Chris? To be sweet, very fruit forward, not too tart. I like it. I give it 3.75 out of 5 pods. We drink and we sit here. I like it in the room, but at the same time, I feel like every time we come here, we wear uh, tangled themed clothes as a mini protest. The fact that the Boy Voyage Breakfast hasn't come back, it probably will never come back, but you know, Disney, we can dream, right? Right? That was a great breakfast. It was a great breakfast. It was like the first character breakfast that I ever enjoyed. Probably the last. Something about this drink on the menu spoke to me. I don't know if it's because I do have some roots in the South, not all of my roots, mind you, but some of the roots in what's considered the South, quote unquote. So it's a Sicilian iced tea, a blend of orange, a liqueur, agave. Uh, I am curious, slightly afraid, because you know Southerners in tea. And this is iced tea, not sweet tea, so mileage may vary. It's only the tip of being Southern approved. It's like just on the verge of being sweet enough, and then just tart. But honestly, for like a nicer Christian beverage, if, yeah, I feel like this will sneak up on you because it doesn't feel like there's a lot of alcohol in here. It's just like tea tea, like tea time, but in the South with porch, blind to you your neighbors. There's nothing out here, it's just a wall. But either way, I quite enjoy it. It's tea, a 3.75 out of five claws. If you're going to sip some tea, this is probably a lot less drama infused. Why has this bread evolved? It used to come as like a longer piece. It used to come in a custom like Trattoria bag. Now we just have these little pieces here. Um, at least it's vegan ciabatta that you can have this way. Now I did ask about the garlic knots as I do every single time that I come here. Though they have vegan cheese and they have garlic bread on the menu, they cannot make it happen if you ask. So, oof, this is probably way too much garlic. You know what, I commit to my mistakes. This is how we live our life. Cheers to make your own garlic bread. The garlic is so sweet. It's like perfection. It takes me back to living in California and eating at the Stinking Rose, which I believe is like permanently closed now, unfortunately, but everything that is made with a soft garlic is amazing here. The only place I've ever had garlic uh, softer than this is probably the Yachtsman Steakhouse, but I like this more. Yachtsman last time made us sick. Do not recommend. Do recommend this. I would give it a four out of five breads. It gives good bread. I'm surprised to say to this bread, given that they make their bread in-house here, but it's warm, it's fresh. I'm even gonna eat it princess style. I'm gonna rip it open. This is normally her bag, but this time I'm joining in the fun because when it comes to garlic, I'm telling you, the only appropriate amount of garlic is Godzilla style. I want to bite into garlic, and I want to feel like Godzilla from Godzilla Minus One. The setup and everything. I want to destroy a city with my garlic breath. As much as we roast garlic, 
or we love garlic, I'm surprised we don't roast more garlic at home because this is extremely easy to do, but it's always so well done when we come to Disney. And honestly, I might be walking around with T-Rex arms later in the house, doing the Godzilla noises and like kicking things over because of this, just because of this. 4.75 out of 5 plus. I am a practice in the world of bruschetta, and now this bruschetta is way bigger than I remember. And the not the last time I came here, but the time before, they were actually like little endive cups. So I'm surprised that it's like on bread now and huge bread. It reminds me of the avocado toast that you can get here for breakfast, and how that one also got like mutant-sized bread. Now I feel like. This is a dangerous thing to cut, but I also feel like I need to cut it because it's so huge. Ah, see, see, this is why I was afraid. I guess I didn't really need the knife, but let's go ahead and just, this is a huge bite again, but I commit to my mistake, so cheers. That was super tasty, even though that bite was way too big. The bread was crunchy, flavorful, not soggy at all. A super light amount of balsamic. I could have taken a little bit more. The tomato is fresh. The olive oil is amazing. I have no notes. It's perfect. I guess maybe just the size. I guess in this in this case the size counts because I didn't use it right. I'm gonna be this how you use it. Both sizes just is too big. I don't know. I'm gonna give it a four and a half out of five breads because even though it gives good bread, it's a little too big for me and you know. Man, this is a family <laughs> Inappropriate size of bread. <laughs> I have no idea why the princess insists on torturing herself trying to eat so much food at once. I'm a bear. Even bear bites are a lot for me sometimes. I am using the tools that were given to me. Now, we better with chopsticks, but I think everything's better with chopsticks. How you eat bread with chopsticks, I don't know. I am really just being facetious at this point. Fingers, fingers are my chopsticks. There you go. I think a balsamic vinegar on food, sort of like a tightrope walk. It's very easy to put too much. I know there's some disagree with me. It also sucks when there's too little. This is perfect. Just enough to set off the tomatoes and cut their acidity and the bread, amazing. Top bruschetta. If you're like a bruschetta fan, like this is one of the things you uh, live for. The bruschetta. The bruschetta. Bruschetta. Sorry, I know you're going to murder me for that one. But this is top tier. Top, top tier. I would give it 4.75 out of 5 claws. It would be a 5 and wouldn't so difficult to eat. This is the princess and the bear hack that you need in your life. You get the bruschetta and then you get your little side bread with this beautiful roasted garlic and just pop. Like that. Cheers. It's just a garlic bruschetta convertible. I probably going straight into my brain and then reset. Perfection. Look at this gorgeous vegan cheese pizza. Now, African Dab Bar has removed the vegan margarita, or they've removed the margarita pizza off their menu, so you cannot order a vegan or regular version of margarita. And you guys asked us if we could do one at Trattoria, and we haven't been back since. I figured why not come on Persian New Year, the eve of the first day of spring, and check. And so we're here. And we have this beautiful margarita vegan pizza. And I love the pizza from Abercrombie. Look at that cheese pull. Ooh, yes. I loved the pizza from Abercrombie Bar. I loved it when you could order it from here. It was hit or miss, but now? The last two times we've gotten it, we're here. We've been successful. Cheers. Extra cheesy, extra sticky, extra tasty. This is the way, this is still 
the best pizza at Disney World. I know everybody wants to say that you should go to Via. And as a vegan, sure, Via has options. But the pizza here, the margarita, specifically, because Via has the margarita on the menu. The margarita here is better than the margarita there. I'm just saying, it's five out of five. It's princess design item. You should ask for this pizza, even though the cheese is stuck in my teeth. I don't care. It's good. At least you can still get a vegan margarita somewhere. This pizza disappearing from the menu at Abracadabra is heartbreaking for our plant-based brethren. But at least it survives in some way, shape, or form. Beautiful crust, nice and cheesy. I like the golden brown color it is now. Look at that. That's like pizza emoji level beautiful. I remember years, years ago when you first started seeing vegan pizzas pop up at any sort of Disney restaurant, cheese didn't melt. Vegan cheese come a long way. So it melts a lot easier. It's still sort of like an art form, but it's a little lot easier than it was previously. This, it's like peak multi cheese. It's a bit oily. But I can forgive that because the flavors are so good. The tomatoes are great, the fresh basil is great. Honestly, you couldn't hope for a better vegan pizza as a vegan property. Via Napoli's pizza comes close. So Via Napoli lately, as far as service and availability of vegan options has been kind of, we've had issues, we've heard people had issues. If you want pizza, honestly at this point, I'm recommending you come here. This is my base person. Give this four and a half out of five plus. I always seem to find something on this menu I haven't tried. Trattoria Alferno menu is one of those menus that does rotate fairly often. They have a lot, have a lot of seasonal items on their menu. Uh, this isn't one of the seasonal items, but it's something I've actually never had. I have had their fish pasta before. This is the shrimp papadel. You get nice big pieces of shrimp. You get artichoke in here. There's some the same beautiful tomato they have in here, some arugula with some uh, capers and nudes here on the bottom. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a little twirl in this pile of nudes and this garlic butter wine sauce. I have magic pills on deck in case I need them and I will definitely need them. I'm gonna spear the shrimp. Make sure to get some artichoke in here. I should probably use a knife like a civilized bear so I don't get this everywhere. There we go. Something about garlic butter with wine and caper is intoxicating. It almost tastes like you're like you're drinking the garlic butter. And sort of like you would drink in a wine. Like it's got that sort of like presence in the dish. Like you can taste the different ingredients. Like you know that it's wine. You know there's butter, you know there's garlic in there, but something about the combination of those ingredients is lovely. On fresh seafood. It's like sun, sunrise over an ocean, I would say. That level of brightness. Uh, this, I had, had low hopes for. I didn't start to hate this dish, but honestly, with the size of the shrimp, the punch of the garlic, and the noodles, I'm sold. Four out of five flies. The book is back. What is a new spring season without a new dessert at Trattoria? Beautiful olive oil cake with a sorbet and this compote. Can I just say it to you before I eat this? Look at this one. This one's a Mickey. So fine. Super fun. Cheers. It tastes like raspberry lemon cotton candy. It is amazing. I love this dessert. I would give it a five out of five. It is a princessy item. It is so tasty and amazing. It's got a beautiful balance of like tart and sweet. This is really good. I think even Bear is gonna like this one. Okay, that, that's feeling very Alferno. It's feeling very Italian. The sorbet, you have this compote. You know, this cream, all vegan and dairy free, so I can have it. Look at that. Not a lie, on the princess had cotton candy, 
I mean, a face. Well, legitimately, it tastes like cotton candy, a berry compote, and sorbet on top. That's fun. And I was not expecting that sort of like lightness and fluffiness. That's something you said olive oil cake. I was expecting something dense and like greasy. Cause that, that's the picture I got in my head. This is an amazing plant based dessert. It's a good entry. Best on property contender, but maybe not king or queen or supreme overlord, but a contender. 4.75 out of 5 plus. As your number one choice of foodie infotainment, we came, we ate, and we conquered. Happy New Ruz, first day of spring. We appreciate you guys. We appreciate all of the cast members that signed our book. The restaurant was completely full, and, and the lobby was full, and we still had this many chefs res uh, sign, even though there was way more chefs behind the kitchen. And I just want to call out Chef Caitlin for saying that we are the magic, because no, girl, you are the magic. The cast members are the magic. Every person in this book is the magic. Like, we are just here eating the food. We have the easy job. We appreciate the cast members that make the magic for us and allow us to do this. And you guys that watch these videos allow us to support those cast members. It's a beautiful new year. Let's just appreciate and love everyone around us. Well. If you have anything else, like, anything else you'd like to see us do, the comments will always be the place to find us. Hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this, and... We have new videos five days a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, woo! We'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe and like this video. And if you don't comment, Bear's going to spend this new year swimming in Crescent Lake. And then I'm never going to see him again because he's going to turn into a gator. Like a true Floridian. There's zero chance I'm swimming in that gross lake. But you heard the girl. New to moving on!